Yo, what up, Stoop Troop? We are back for episode 10 in the Angel Wings installment. Some more of the Angel Wings action. In this episode, I meet someone unexpected at the cafe. Uh, we dive a little bit more into practice, trying to win these games for the Angels. You already know what time it is. And also, I get to go on a walk and live to learn about somebody who um, is pretty unexpected. Who that is, you're going to have to pay attention, of course, and find out. Like always, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the video. But we'll jump right to it. We'll get the show on the road. Peace. If you hear the piano, you should know what time it is. It is the quiet hour on 107.9, the groove. All right, now jump right into it. Let me stop being corny. I don't want to be corny like my character is. What's wrong, Stupid? You look like you're about to fall asleep. She's not lying. It is pretty late night, and that's exactly when I started playing the game. So, uh... I feel like, I feel like you, you, you know too much about me. I'm gonna need you to stop. Vacation mode, so just to kind of pick everybody up, what happened last time was, uh, the, they went to the beach. It was probably the longest chapter in this game since the first chapter where they were setting, setting everything up. Um, there was at least six or seven, eight different characters that all went to the beach at the same time. Um, so it was pretty extended. And there was a few relationship building moments throughout that entire episode. Okay. Okay, that's that's uh it's not far from the truth there, you know. I don't need work for you no more, fool. Yeah, ballin'. You don't even know about my contract. somewhat of a bombshell it's a good way to start then uh women's intuition so to speak and i wonder who she thinks it is because all of my gameplay so far has led towards uh Ceola, just because it's just you know hooping it up hoop dreams and all that but she's also been one who kind of fall into that category um of one that i'm not trying to in this game put off that impression but for some, whatever reason it keeps happening the relationship keeps building I, I would say so far that's been pretty challenging about this game sometimes you don't even try and the person's relationship will build what are you talking about crazy <laughs> you just told it yourself bro you ain't wrong you're in my business but you ain't wrong who am I in love with? Look at me and I'll tell you. If she names the person, I'm going to have to be worried about her. This is strange. Who do you think it is? Money, money, money. You know what's even better about that? And like I said, everything I've been doing has been leaning towards that, so it makes 100% sense what she's saying. But what would be hilarious to me is, and again, I, I'm a, I, it's going to make me want to go back and actually play just to see if you're actually talking to her, if she'll be the one to say that. Like, oh, you're in love with me, and then, you know, genuine ponies start playing, and then it gets a little crazy. But she's right. I don't know how you can tell that by somebody looking at you. Elaborate, professor. That is you all up in everybody's business. Don't, bro. It's incriminating. Plead the fifth. No. Not at all. 
that's the quick, quickest answer I could say. I don't trust you. All right, this is the this is the one right here. This is the um, the moment of truth, so to speak. Nope, whatever. Yeah. Um, listen, man. Shooters gotta shoot, all right? You've been shooting your shot with with Ciola for a long time. She knows the gig. Ain't no point in you saying nope, whatever, yeah. Just come out of knowing it. Come out of knowing it. You're in a house full of women. Um, just like you said, nothing's gonna get past anybody. They they kind of know attraction is a thing that other people can feel. So people can tell if you act differently around somebody. You're acting differently around her than other people. So I'm gonna say, yeah. Let's roll with it. Now, here's what I want to know. Aside from just, yeah, I'm in love. Um, is it, yeah, I'm in love, and can you hook it up? You know, can you put in a good word for the boy? Can you uh, can you slide in the DMs for me manually? That's what, that's what kids nowadays are going to talk about. The younger crowd, that's how they're going to approach actually talking to people in person. Can you manually slide into the DMs? Um, so let's say, yeah. I said, yeah, you said maybe. That's funny. Problem when you're in a house full of women, bro. I don't know about happy. You don't even see them most of the time. Going to the beach is the first time that you've seen most of them in the house. Tell me what to do. I'm a whole thug out here. For a moment, it felt like she was staring directly into my heart. Ah, pobrecito. What a strange feeling. What, are you in love with her too? Listen, man, you got to pick your... And let me just say for the record, um, I don't think it's ever a good idea to fall in love with somebody in two places. If you're roommates or you live in the same building, like if you're in a apartment complex, if you live in the same complex, like complex area, or at work, definitely not in the same house. Like I would not, in the same house, that would be an automatic, no, I would cut that off for me. That, that would That's one of my personal rules, but hey man, do you. If y'all break up, it's going to be a hell of a fight over some French toast. It's my boy Chip Layless, he's back. Chip A. Remain in the ninth position. We're like one in 12. How are we in the ninth position? How many teams are in this league? The Muses render dominance, defeating teams ahead of the Angels in the standings. So defeating every other team. Gotcha. The Angels are one in 11 and we're in the ninth seed, which means we're playing for payoff position. Like how terrible is this, um, this league we're in? Oh, uh, Chip Bayless is about to give her the the LeBron James treatment. He's about to go, oh, she passed up on the game winner. She doesn't have she doesn't have what it takes. She's not strong enough. Blah 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 blah. Let me hear what you got to say, Chippy. Stephen Lame Smith. <sighs> this is just like Chip Bayless. He's a hater. He is a hater, just like Chip Bayless. I would say she made the right play. Really, they make the right play for themselves. What is that even? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you are uh, a hater, bro. What you want me to do? We'll be playing three on three, which will help her work on offense without running everybody else. Sound good? Uh, I guess. Not like I have a choice. Dude, you need to work on the jumper, man. You're doing all this stuff and you still have not worked on the jumper, which is insane to me. 
Oh, you hear that music? It's about to go down. This is tough because I don't know her game, her gaming style. Like they haven't really talked about her at all much. Um, I don't think it was her that missed the game winner. If I don't remember, if I remember correctly, so I can't just say give her some space. Sticking tightly to her means that she's gonna run around you. So this is tough. I wish they gave me a scouting report. You know what I mean? I'm on a whole professional team here. What's the rest of the coaching staff doing? I'm going to say stick tightly to her. Nah, you know what? Let's give her some space. Let's see if she can make a jump. No, she can make a jump. I'm sticking tightly to her. I look at it. I had to think about it. I was looking at the stat before Chip Bayless started to start hating on her. Or, um, Ciola, so I'm going to go ahead and stick tightly. Sprints hard in the basket. It sends me flying as I slow, try to slow her down. Ooh, you got crossed up, man. My dude's defense is not good. Clearly. Because clear, clearly I made the bad defensive call And I don't even want to say bad defensive call Clearly you guys didn't give me the scouting report Where's the improvement? Yo, I'm a whole prodigy out here You know, I came into, I came into the league And they didn't really think I was going to do much And I'm over here killing the league I'm like the Giannis Antetokounmpo of this game like I came in the league a second rounder and, um, you know, it really didn't look like anything because you didn't have a jump shot or nothing. You just were a freak athletically. And then, you know, a few years later, you end up the MVP. Take the compliment, bro. Ninth place. Isn't it amazing? This could be the first year we make the playoffs. If we just win a few games, I can't wait. We are 1-11, and 11, and she's saying, isn't it amazing? Because we can win. We can make the playoffs. Playoffs? We're talking about playoffs? How about we win more than one game? How about that? How about we start there? Let's win more than one game before we start thinking about playoffs. <sighs> I don't understand this league. Show me a conference standings. I mean, and I made a mistake in one of the videos. Uh, we scored 46 points and Ciola scored 32, which means she scored way more than half the points on our team, which means, uh, yeah, it would mean a lot to her if she gets to the playoffs considering the fact that she's been carrying you bumps. Yes, they do. They go with laptops, they sit in coffee shops all day and they work and you good sir uh keep going back to the same coffee shop like is there not another one in town like you used to work here if i used to work at a place i'm not going to keep going back to it on a consistent basis like, especially when you got a higher paying job that's just kind of like a slap in the face does it You are not lying. Jet black hair, baby jet black hair, and it's impossible. When I say hi to her, you know her, right? Plus, 
pleasant surprise. Well, I wasn't the one who invited you. Ah, just a little hard coffee. Gotta drink a black. I love black coffee. Let me, you understand me? You cream and sugar people, you sugar people, you, you know, non-dairy cream, whatever. Milk, cafe con leche for my fellow Latinos out there. Black coffee is the way it is because you can actually taste the grounds. You can actually taste the coffee. So for all of y'all out there drinking cream, cream and sugar, cafe con leche, understand me. You don't get respect out here in these coffee streets. You understand me? Hold up. We don't respect you. In these coffee streets You're not a whole thug out here Living the coffee life I'll take it black Yo if I accidentally hit sugar After that whole rant I would have gone I would have gone crazy Thank you Thank you She said she did that She's the one who said it. Thug life. Big facts. It is. There's a party this weekend. First of all, why you got your sweater draped around there, huh? It's supposed to be fancy, right? Shouldn't somebody else be carrying your sweater? Ooh wee, she got somebody else in mind. I would be delighted if you joined us. Yes. If listen, understand me. If you go to that house party, you're gonna be upset because she is gonna be out there flirting with another man. And I'm not gonna say upset because clearly my person's in love with Ciola, as they said in the beginning, but. If somebody doesn't invite you to a party and this person thinks you're in love interest, she knows that you're not. She probably saw the chemistry between you and Ciola on the beach. No offense, of course. Just like your just like your jumper. No offense. All defense. I'll see my way. What we got to say? Well, clearly, tell me about yourself has got to be the first one, right? Tell me about yourself. Where do I begin? Well, 21 years old. Okay, you could drink. Was raised Catholic. Okay. Um, seems kind of weird to throw your, your choice there. Um, my favorite food is foie, foie gras. I fear that isn't, this isn't what you want to hear. I don't know what foie gras is. What, what is that? Same class as a brother. Not close to her, but you think she's a sweetheart. Okay. What's up, your brother? Money. It's money, right? Cute and 
citizen girl with a natural writing talent that would make Hemingway blush. Far less dreary and depressing in comparison, but that's neither here nor there. I like her style. Okay. She's quiet. I'm working, you know, wonder how other people know of her work, her writing work. I guess it must be in the contest or something like that. How do you feel about Nuri? Yo, this episode, they are coming out with the hard hitting questions. Now listen, how do you feel about these five different women? straight out of a K-pop band. Yo, why do you keep dogging your brother like that? I thought family runs deep. They're a pair of good-looking people and their imaginations just run wild. I mean, pretty, pretty much what they're thinking is, wow, brother got a lot of money. Y'all rich. You ain't never lying. Ah, oh, look who's here. everything okay I don't understand why my character is so jealous of the Z person because he always brings brings him up every five seconds it's kind of it's kind of crazy no she didn't scare me get to learn more about yourself the brother I'm frustrated with the entire situation why I don't understand. Is he frustrated he didn't get an invite to the party? Is he frustrated that Z happens to be an interest? Um, clearly, I have not been throwing her any vibes, so I don't get why my character is frustrated. Away with words. Victorian ladies. So that is a pretty solid way to put it. What are you doing? box of spam mail I guess there must be for the celebrity in the home well who's she talking to And the haberdashers and hemoglobus is going on here. Is that her inner thoughts? <laughs> pretty, I won't lie, I'm pretty confused by this. Notice how quick day 25 was. So some of these days drag, some of them go by quickly. I guess it's like real life. 
workday drags and the weekend goes by super quick. How about you practice your jump shot? Mm-hmm. I like her. That's that's the winner mom. That's my it's Mamba mentality. Your jump shot. Please say your jumper. Please say your jumper. Please say your jumper. Or she didn't say your jumper. She's more concerned about the being the AFC to play the one seed. Well, hey, I can completely understand that. But hey, the Dallas Mavericks lost to the Golden State Warriors in was it 2006? And, and Warriors were in AFC during that time. So hey. I never knew. Is that why we practice at the LA Fitness or whatever this is? Mm -hmm. It's like the Los Angeles Lakers versus the Clippers. Those games, they matter. Yeah, well, my person is really old school. <laughs> she did not. She did not tell a lie right there. You do not. You you make professional athlete money. You can't afford a data plan. That's called being cheap. That's called going with the same phone that this person bought you, even though you make a pretty good amount of money. distract towards me because I'm not going to want to go to the party. So you should be honest. Hey, Stupinions. What up, though? We don't go to the party. I'm not much of a party person. <sighs> That's gonna be fun. <laughs> She's really like a guardian.
listen, let me tell y'all. There is absolutely nothing more relaxing than taking a walk around the lake. If you have never done it, um, first of all, taking a walk in general is really relaxing, but around the lake, it's like it's like nature. You know, you know what I mean? Like it's like kind of like your primal instincts kick in from the cave band days or something like that. It's just very, very relaxing. So if you're having a rough day, if you have that opportunity to actually do something like around the lake, I highly recommend it. Quizzically. Quizzically. Is that you say quizzically? My origin. You make it sound like you're Superman. Listen, nobody's past their prime, you understand me? It depends on what you consider your prime to be. But I past the prime to me is like once you hit 40s. Like 30 to me, prime times of your life. Are you going into the woods? This photo definitely looks a lot different than the other one. So I like when they give you these these detailed photos sometimes where you kind of see how the character actually would look look, so to speak. With this photo, and she keeps saying she's older, I can see it in this one. Uh the other one, it's like mm, hit that that pose, like yeah. Delve deeper within. Pretty ugly. Oh, you said something different. Kissing each falling leaf. Tell you, this person's adjectives on 1,000. Mm -mm. Well, when you say that, you make it seem like you're a, um, you're like a rescue dog. So, <laughs> this is pretty much what I just said. Did she say your uncle? Yeah, why are there no other guys in there? It's like. Nobody can play dominoes with or hang out. Oh, you hear the music. And you 
got to be thankful. Say nothing's kind of disrespectful. Um, clearly, you're not a kid. That would be kind of playful. Like, hey, I'm not a kid. Um, but you got to be thankful for everything. Be thankful. Well, clearly, my person can talk to anyone who comes in the house. Um, a tad bit unrealistic, but hey, these are how these visual dramas work. Visual now. The trail ends there, and you're looking at her. Okay. Uh, I can see where that is going. Alright, Stoops, you're learning a lot more about people, so 